Hey, welcome to another Gourmet Fishing Info Short. I'm your host, David Murray. On today's short, we are going to take our blackening seasoning rub that we made a video or two back and put it to use by creating a Benny Seed crusted blackened dolphin. Then we're gonna serve that with purple mashed potatoes. Yes, I did say purple. And oven roasted Brussels sprouts topped with balsamic vinegar and an agave glaze so tell you what before we can get our short out to our planetary population we do have a little bit of business we got to take care of so why don't we get started by i'm sure you know it by now rolling the open Hey, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure you click that little notification bell. And if you like the video, also click the little thumbs up down below. And please, we encourage you to leave comments. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram, where Gourmet has two T's. Just worked out that way. <laughs> and in the description below, you can uh, uh, there's a link for you to download the recipe. So why don't we get started and we talk a little bit about that grocery list. We're gonna need, obviously, some dolphin. Uh, our blackening rub that we created, and uh, I will put a little link above my head. It should be popping out at any time where you can take a look at uh, that video also. And uh, we're gonna need some, some oil, and we're gonna need some Benny seeds. Now, you may be saying, what the heck is a Benny seed? I will also talk about that here in a few minutes. Um, so I tell you what, why don't we go ahead and get this thing moving? Now we're gonna need, oh, you know what else we also need in our um, <laughs> grocery list? I just forgot. We need some agave nectar and a little bit of soy sauce. And that's where we're gonna head right now is we are going to grab ourselves a little bowl. Take and you know what? I'm gonna move you right there. Move our little dolphin up and down. Now. We're gonna create a little marinade. We're gonna marinate our fish for about, I don't know, maybe five minutes, if that, uh, in um, agave nectar and soy sauce. So we're gonna come in and I'm gonna add uh, maybe a, what do you think that is? That's, there we go, two tablespoons of agave nectar. Uh, wrong one, I went for the balsamic vinegar. And then we're gonna grab some soy sauce and we're gonna add probably about a tablespoon of that. Now we're gonna grab a whisk. There it is. And we're gonna whisk this together because we wanna make sure that that agave nectar and the um, soy sauce become one, one sauce itself, just like so. And we're going to place, there we go. Pretty good to me. Uh, <laughs> so we're now gonna put our fish uh, fillets in that. We're going to let it sit for, I don't know, like I said, maybe for, probably two minutes on this side and then flip it again for a, another uh, two minutes. And what that agave is going to also, is going to give us a good little caramelization uh, from the sweetness. And you might be saying, well, what the heck is agave nectar? Well, it's very similar to honey, but it's made from the blue agave plant. Same thing they make tequila out of. So it's, it's, got to be good and of course it doesn't taste anything <laughs> like the tequila it's very similar to honey so we're gonna let this sit here for a second and why don't we talk about Benny Seeds Benny Seeds is a uh, 
that name uh, is, is, is part of the Low Country, the, the South, uh, the Charleston Low Country area, and they are essentially they're sesame seeds. But they came to uh, the country back in the early 1700s from the uh, the west coast of Africa, and they actually, uh, I think, 1730 was the first time that they actually uh, figured out that they could make money with them. But we are going to add ours to our fish then we're going to blacken it, then we're going to sear it, and then we're going to have one heck of a lunch. So, tell you what, we're going to take a quick little... Okay, hey, that was a break. Now, we are back with our fish. We have it ready to go. I'm going to take it out of our marinade, like so. Just like that. Now, my hands are messy, but that's okay because we're ready to get moving on our blackening fish. So I'm gonna, I'm going to add just a little bit of oil to my pan. I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna add a few of our mini seeds or sesame seeds, whichever one you like, like so. Then I'm gonna come in again with some of our blackening season. You know, not a lot if you did want, if you do watch or did watch our um, blackening video you know you have the ability to tweak that recipe for the heat that you like so keep that in mind so we're going to now come in now again that's 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 not a lot of seasoning there's not a lot of um um our benny seeds or sesame seeds but we'll take care of that here in a few minutes now i'm going to come in and this is a hot pan i've had it on and it looks like it might be almost too hot but that's okay that's okay it'll work down and away from you because it's warm now when i've got it like this i'm going to come back and i'm going to add another round of our blackening seasoning just like so and then i'm going to come in one more time just a little bit of seeds now we, we're gonna we're gonna hit this pretty good here in a minute because we're, we're just searing this on both sides and then we're gonna finish it off in the oven. And that's where the, the coating of these um, Benny seeds will come into play. Let's grab our spatula. Get it moving, I did turn it down some. So, here we go, I'm gonna break these apart because when you're, when you're uh, frying your fish, you can actually see how that thing cooks and it moves up just a little bit. And you can see, you can, you can see the doneness line. I don't know if we can see that or not. Can we? Nope, not yet. But, I mean, I can see it. You just can't see it on the <laughs> on the video. Like so. Now, I'm going to flip this away from me. Oh, look at that. And then we'll flip. We're going to do, whoop. There it is. Just like so. Look at that. Beautiful. Again, just a, not, not a lot of your seasoning. You want to at least be able to enjoy it. Now I'm going to come in and I'm going to add a nice coating of our seeds, just like so. Now I'm going to cook, cook this fish about a minute or two on each side. And then at this point, after I've added, I just think I'm going to just want to kick it up just a tad more, just like that. And after, after I got it cooked on the second side, I'm going to put it in the oven. It's, it's set at 350, and we're gonna cook that for about five minutes, and then we'll be ready to plate. All right, five minutes has elapsed. We just went to the oven. We've got our fish out, and we, oh, wow, that just looks, that looks great. And as you can see on the plate, we got here some purple mashed potatoes. Look at that, isn't that amazing? They're they are purple, they're lavender, I guess. And there is our oven roasted um, Brussels sprouts, and it's been tossed in that balsamic and agave nectar uh, glaze. Now, let's go ahead and finish plating everything up. Oh, man. Like so. And we'll come in with this little guy. What are we going to do? Maybe right here? That'll look good, right? There it is. Oh, yes, sir. And stay over here. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you noticed, I, I kept a towel on the handle of my um, frying pan. Anytime you bring something out of the oven that's been cooked in there, 
wrap it with um, wrap it with a towel because um, from experience sometimes you'll forget and go back and grab that and that it'll, it'll light you up just a little pro tip there for you anyway check this out oh goodness gracious that is gonna be delicious again that was that was simple it was quick now you didn't see us prepare the uh, tomatoes uh, tomatoes our potatoes or our Brussels sprouts, but they will be coming in what we are now calling a gourmet fishing super short. They will be coming up soon. That's where we will be, uh, you know, taking a look at side dishes, uh, sauces and rubs, compound butters, um, you know, things like that that will accompany uh, recipes that we've done in the past and coming up in the future. Now, I'm going to finish this off. I'm going to take a little bit of a lime slice. Put like that and then we're just just gonna add a little bit of decoration here put some here and here I don't know what else what do you think maybe here and here eh, I don't know who knows play with it <laughs> anyway gosh there we are this was a very simple very quick meal you know we utilize what we put together in our rub and again you can take that rub and do all kind of things where you can change the flavor profile by by adding um, some of the citrus powders and you know these completely change it uh, instead of uh, cayenne pepper you can add a smoked chipotle uh, powder to that and that alters the whole thing so you know again look up top uh, that little thing probably just shot out that way <laughs> check it out um, and uh, you know what don't forget to Subscribe to our channel, click that little notification bell, and please, hey, leave comments. They're more than welcome. And if you like the video, click that little uh, thumbs up button. We would appreciate it. And you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Again, Instagram has two T's and gourmet. Don't know. And please download the recipe. It is in the description below. So until next time, God bless, and we'll see you then. Vinegar and agave nectar so before we can move forward and get our dish out to the planetary population we do have a little bit of business to take care of so why don't we get started by rolling the open that was dumb <laughs> bye